Hi, it's Rebecca Ferrassi here and I'm backstage at Transmit Festival with Crawlers. How are you all doing? Good, thank you. Very good. Yeah, it's very good. Though we are in the shade now. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, our yeah, it's very it's, it's sunny very today very in Glasgow. It's not like sunny sunny, but it's like, ugh, I know. <laughs> It's like, oh, out of every crack I didn't know I had. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, can I swear on this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so we're here in Scotland. Do you like Scotland? You've been here before? Yeah. Best gig is always in Glasgow. Yeah. And I'm half Scottish. My dad's Scottish, so I, why do I feel like I need to go there? So I'm like, I'm half Scottish, but like you mentioned Scotland, you're like, I am half. I, my dad is Scottish. <laughs> um, yeah, so when I come here, it's always he, he gets dead buzz and he's like, oh, you're gonna love a Glasgow show, and all that was not. Yeah, whatever. We, I don't know what accent he has, but yeah, no, we do always have a really great time whenever we play here. Like saying to him, one of our mates earlier that like every time we come here, the crowds are just like so up for it. It's always a good vibe. Yeah. Scottish crowds are just different to anywhere in the UK, aren't they? You, you, you have one pause in your mu- music and then you just hear do, 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 every time. You can't even stop. You're like, and then instantly, do, 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 and I'm like, oh, come on, bring it to me. Do you know what I mean? It's good. And so you played main stage today. Yeah. Like, yeah. how was that for you? How was your set? That was insane. It was insane. I can't believe we've just like opened to main stage, that was a bit silly. <laughs> I can't make up how many artists on the stage today that we like look up to as well. Like literally like I think I've been just a big fan of every single yeah, artist yeah. on that stage. So like I was like looking at like the lineup like what times I was like, oh my god, I've literally all of these are on my playlist, like every single yeah. one of them I was like oh. It's like why are we here? This doesn't make sense, but like it's amazing. Are you sticking around to see anyone today? We are. We are. Yeah, yeah stay to the end. We're very excited. Bye. 75 Royal Blood, we're playing with them in um, Luxembourg next on, week. Yeah, next week. So they were dead nice, met them today. Yeah, it's, it's only Wednesday, isn't it? No, so Thursday we're playing with them. Yeah. It's only a few days away. Went and watched our friends pay away at side, um, side stage. They are just, oh, they're so lovely. They always make a festival dead welcome, in, don't they? And then we're watching our mates uninvited later as well. Yeah. So that'll be good. Yeah. The lineup is so good today. We were looking at, we're just like, yeah, we're the same, we're fans of everyone. We're just like walking around here, just fangirling. <laughs> Actually, I, I can't, like, I, I, it's got to the point now where I just have to, like, act chill inside, like, in the festival. Because I don't think people realise it, like, in an art area, especially Transmit, like, it was the same last year, like, people, like, you look up to are just walking around playing ping pong, and you're there, like, <laughs> like, it's, it's <laughs> Um But you know what? Sometimes you just got to pretend you're a bad bitch. Like, they be like, yeah. keep, keep a level head on you. <laughs> like this. Then everyone might think you're a bitch because they're like, <laughs> either way, work. What's been your biggest fangirl moment so far? Is there anyone you've just like gone a bit crazy for? What at this festival? I mean, I met. Yeah, I met Amy Lee, who is like the reason that I got into music. So that was a very big moment for me. That was a download Yeah, got to meet Amy Lee, which is insane. Yeah, she's really nice. She's lovely. I don't, I don't know who I'd like freak out over though. Travis Barker. Yeah, yeah, maybe. But then also at the same time, it's like I don't, I can't imagine that I'd like freak out or anything. I just kind of like, I just gotta keep it cool. And, and, did I, I, and then she walked out, and I started crying. So. <laughs> yeah. This was after she left. I got so I was like, <laughs> but she left. She started crying. So it might happen afterwards. To be fair, I did the same thing. I became on stage, and drove from Royal Blood's there, and I was like, yeah, Ben, from like literally Blood. like, hi. <laughs> I was like. I was like, oh, and then I came back and I was like, I'm sorry, I was a little bit starstruck because sometimes you see people and like, yeah. I don't know, like, they become like such a thing online that, and then you see them in person and like, oh. Like, you're real. Yeah, you're real. That's <laughs> really, physical person. That's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's mad. And any good signs in the set today? I saw you doing a little competition. There was one that had a sign that said, I named my pet chicken Liv, and I was like, I need this chicken. <laughs> was, I need this that chicken. Was good. I like the one that just said, Scouse Mother. <laughs> I saw that one, that one was so good. Because I was wearing rollers. I mean, you can't can tell now. I was wearing yeah, rollers. Still like, I was actually looking like an actual Scouse mum, like in the travel lodge this morning, like rollers in, like Scouse mum. Getting a coffee and I was like, oh my god, I'm actually giving this scouse mother. And then someone made so that must have been a quick job. Like I only said that this morning. It's so. like What do they win? Can you tell us? Win sure. oh. It's the first um ever merch we ever released. It was done by um, it was like a collab with uh, an artist from Liverpool. And we only did, I think it was like two hundred, if that, and but like they sold out like instantly and then I was like raiding my wardrobe the other day and I was like, oh, about you. I forgot about you. Why don't I get this as well? Because I'm not really. Because I, 
I have been caught wearing our merch a few times. It actually gets me out. So <laughs> it happened yesterday, didn't it? It happened yesterday. It was, and I was like, yeah. you know what? I'll I'll give this to someone who really like it. So we just had a little calm. That's nice. I've got a bit of a quick fire round for you as well. Hey, go let's go. Okay. Oh, also, um, I want to know what are your unhealthy coping mechanisms? Because I've been listening to Messiah, oh. and like, I need to know. Drinking a lot of Red Bull, probably. Mm. Um, not knowing the line between when you've had too much coffee, and like sometimes <laughs> it's like, same thing. Do you know what I mean? Like sometimes you're like drinking it, like no, I can have another two, and then halfway through your third, you're like, oh no, I've hit the limit. Like I've hit the like anxiety. Like you sat there in the auditorium, like. Probably that. I mean, I have a lot more, which you know, probably like getting tattoos whenever I've got money, and then like, why do I have no money? <laughs> it's my fault. It's one way to cope, though, isn't it? At least I gotta wait till cow home. <laughs> I think mine would mine would either be like sleeping too much because I am like constantly <laughs> sleeping, or um, I just kind of avoid my phone, yeah. and that's that helps no one. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think the sleeping is a coping mechanism for you. I think that's just that's just you. Like sixty percent of your life, you are asleep. We literally had a comment before you came. We had like a meeting with management, and Liv was like asleep, and they just went, "It's just who Liv is. It's just in their teens. Like it's part of my character design." They were literally like, "That is just that. Some people, that's just how they are." And I was like, "Yeah, it is part of my character design." Um, what do you order from Greg's? Sausage roll. Nothing. I'm celiac. (laughs) (laughs) Um, vegan sausage roll or the vegan sausage wrap with brown sauce. Yeah. And also, we're here for BBC Introducing. You're a band who have worked their way up, like, all the way from BBC Introducing to playing main stage. So what advice would you give to a band that wants, you know, wants to get to where you've got? Keeping your vision streamlined. Like, no one's journey to doing whatever you want is like any others. And you can look at some artists and be like, wow, why are they doing this? And why is that making them successful? Like, you've got to think about what you want to do and how you're going to achieve that. Like, I remember being like, oh, no, TikTok, like, puts you in this cringe category. And I'm like, so... No, it's, but um, that's just part of our story, and and, and you know what? I, I I'm lay proud of like me sitting in front of my phone doing stupid dances and doing like you know miming to our song, and it, it doesn't need to be compared. And we're all on our own kind of musical journey, and I think it's exciting to look at others, but don't compare. Yeah. Well, Crawlers, it's been lovely chatting to you. Oh, thank and you yeah. Have a good one.